Today we're going to look at how to permanently turn off fast startup. Now, why would you want to turn this off? Well, if you've got a solid state drive in your machine, then really your machine starts up pretty quick anyway. But having fast startup switched on on older machines is probably a good idea. Ones with solid, well, non-solid state hard drives in with HDDs in, this can help them start up pretty much quicker. Now, why would you want to turn it off on any device, whether it be an SSD or an HDD computer? Well, the thing is, when you've got fast startup turned on, it will actually cut corners in shutting down and starting up. It will, won't, won't shut down drivers. It won't shut down services. It saves the state in the memory, basically to make it quicker to start up. But with that comes a downfall is the fact if you've got a problem with a driver or a problem with a service, when you shut your computer down, it's just going to save the state. So it's going to save the problem. And when you start the computer back up again, the problem is going to still be there. For instance, I went to somebody a little while ago who couldn't print. So they shut their computer down overnight. They unplugged it from the mains. They unplugged the printer from the mains to drain all the power out of everything. Started the computer up and the printer the following day still wouldn't work. They tried this for a couple of nights. Nope just wouldn't work. So called me out. I come in, I restarted the computer. Hey presto, printer fixed, started printing. Went to somebody else, had problems getting their emails. Again, they done the same thing. They shut the computer down for three nights consecutively. Tried it again day after day after day, but still couldn't send or receive any emails. I went around there, restarted the computer. Hey presto, it worked because that is because a restart will actually shut the computer right the way down and bring everything right the way back up like a shutdown used to pre Windows 8 or Windows 8.1. Now, one of the problems we face here is a lot of people turn off fast startup if their computer's quick at starting up anyway. But sometimes, especially after a feature update, Microsoft may well turn this back on automatically without you knowing. So you you might well find, hey, after an update, my computer's running a bit quicker. It's starting up a little bit quicker, only a second or two quicker. And then you go into the power options and then you realize Microsoft have snuck this setting back on. But obviously, it makes your computer less reliable with it on. It's more reliable with it switched off. So in this guide, we're going to show you how you can stop Microsoft from turning this back on and make sure that fast startup is turned off forever. Hold tight, all the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. Okay, so as I say, this video is going to show you how you can turn off fast startup to make your computer run that much more reliable and a little bit quicker in actual fact too, because with it switched off, it obviously gives the computer a bit more of a, a good old clear out when you shut down the computer and start it back up again. So what we're going to do is, first of all, is we're going to click on the start button and then we're going to type notepad okay once you see notepad appear under best match move your mouse over it left click once and then what we need to do is we need to type in this command so i'm going to put a copy of this command in the description of the video so if you need to you can copy and paste it but do make sure you copy this command exactly as it's shown on the screen if you don't it could cause issues with your system so this is very very important so so the command is reg all in capitals space add all in capitals space speech marks H K L M in capitals backslash system in capitals backslash current with a capital C control with a capital C and no space between current and control and set with a capital S again no space between control and set backslash control with a capital C backslash session with a capital S space manager with a capital M backslash power with a capital P speech marks space forward slash capital V space hyper with a capital H boot with a lowercase b enabled with a capital E and no spaces between them space forward slash capital T space reg all in capitals underscore 
D word with a small d and the rest all in capitals, space forward slash capital D space zero space forward slash F. As I say, this is down in the description of this video, so you can copy and paste it directly into Notepad if you need to, or pause this video right now and copy this down. But please, as I say, make sure that you copy this down exactly, because if you get something slightly wrong, you could trash your computer. So once you've typed that in, once you've triple checked it, then click on File, click on Save As, and what we wanna do is we just wanna save this to the desktop, so click Desktop on the left there, and then we wanna change the save as type to all files, and we wanna delete out whatever's in there, so I'm gonna delete out that reg add, blah, blah, blah. so I'm gonna type in there, turn off fast start dot b a t so let's turn off fast start dot b a t then click on save okay and then click on the cross just up there or this cross just here doesn't really matter to to close that down and if we want to check to make sure that that script works then what we can do is let's just click on the start button type in the word control and then click on control panel click on power options and then click on choose what the power buttons do and just make sure that turn on fast startup is selected yes it is so close that down go across to this turn off fast startup here that's appeared on the desktop click on the right mouse button and then go down to run as administrator left click click on yes if this box comes up and then a a black box will just quickly flash up on the screen. Click on the start button, click on or type control, and then click on control panel, click on power options, and then click on choose what the power buttons do, and just make sure the tick has been removed from turn on fast startup. So that's great, so that script actually works. But what we wanna do is we wanna go a step further now, and we wanna make sure that that script runs every time we turn the computer on to make sure that if Microsoft have turned it on, this script will turn it back off again automatically. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click change settings that are currently unavailable and I'm gonna turn this back on because we need to make sure that the script works when we turn the computer back on. So I'm gonna turn it on just for now. Click save changes, click on the cross just up there. And then what we wanna do is we wanna move this now to uh, say the root of our C drive. So to do that, click on the right mouse button. If you're running Windows 11, click on the scissors. If you're running Windows 10, then click on cut just down there. And then what we wanna do is we wanna click on a yellow folder like the one at the bottom of the screen. Click on this PC just on the left, double click the C drive and then find a blank area just in there. Click on the right mouse button. If you're running Windows 11, click on the paste clipboard down there. If you're running Windows 10, then actually click on the word paste. And then you might get this come up saying you'll need to provide administrator permissions to move this folder. Click on continue and then hopefully that should move there. Now, so the next thing we wanna do is we wanna go into control panel. So let's just close that down. Click on the start button, type the word control and then hopefully after a few seconds under best match control panel should appear click on control panel and then click on windows tools or if you've got windows 10 you want to click on administrative tools scroll down once you've gone into windows tools or administrative tools and find task scheduler double left click on that and then once this comes up, click on create basic task over there on the right. And then what we wanna do is we wanna give it a name. So let's call it turn off fast startup and then click on next. Click on when I log on or the little space beside it. Click next and then make sure that start a program has got a little white dot beside it in a blue circle. Click next. And then what we wanna do is we wanna just click on browse just there and then go down on the left hand side here, click on this PC, double click the C drive and then scroll down and we wanna find this turn off fast start dot bat. So, or it might just say turn off fast start. So double left click that, 
click on next and then we want to put a little tick beside open the properties dialog for this task when I click finish so click on that click finish and then what we want to do is we want to make sure that run only when user is logged in is selected and click the little box beside run with highest privileges click on conditions and what we want to do is we want to remove the tick from start the task only if the computer is on AC power because if it's running on battery we still want the task to run so then we click on settings just there and then we want to change this here where it says stop the task if it runs longer than three days we want to click on the drop down click on one hour and then we want to make sure there's a tick in uh, if the running task does not end when requested force it to stop so make sure there's a tick there and then click on ok close down the task scheduler box close down all these boxes here just make sure in actual fact before we close the last box that if we go into power options uh, let's click on choose what the power button does just make sure that turn on fast startup is switched on because we want to test it to make sure if Microsoft or anyone's turned it on that this script will automatically turn it off when we start the computer up so that's turned on so let's close that down and let's just shut the machine down so click on the start button click on the power logo click on shut down and let the machine shut down once it's shut down turn the machine back on again and wait for it to start up okay so my machine is now starting up and when we see the taskbar at the bottom of the screen click on the start button type control and then click on control panel and then we need to click on power options and then let's click on choose what the power buttons do and there you go as you can see turn on fast startup has been turned off so hopefully this should stop microsoft from turning it back on again but if they do turn it back on it will automatically turn it back off again the next time you turn the computer on so there you go i hope this guide helped and if it did consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel or if you want to have a look through my amazon store or looking for a vpn a fire tv stick fire tv cube or fire stick accessories then there's some links down below that you might well be interested in donating buying or subscribing really does help support this channel it helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching and bringing you these videos and whilst you're at my youtube channel why not stick around i've got thousands of other videos for you right here right now covering all sorts of subjects hopefully whilst you're here you're going to find something to educate you entertain you amuse you and maybe even save you some time and money and also whilst you're here at my youtube channel if you do see any videos that you think might interest your friends your relatives or your work colleagues then please don't forget to share the videos on your social media timelines thanks very much for watching